residents of Bukit Patok and residents from outside Bukit Patok, good evening. Bukit Patok the Jimin, you mean how? What are Huang Shu Yi? What are Bodhi Da Xue? Tell Yin Wen Ka. So, tell Yin Wen, just a Hua Yi, not so good. Ah, so it's in one. Well, Dear voters of Bukit Patok, good evening. My name is Wong Su Yi, and I'm a lecturer in the English language at the National University of Singapore. I've been active with the SDP for 20 years. And the party has been active for 36 years. Walking the ground and listening to the problems of the people. In particular, we have produced 10 policy proposals that can minimize many of the problems Singaporeans face today. The policy proposals are on national issues such as healthcare, economy, education, housing, population, and cost of living. So nobody can say that we appear on the scene only once in five years or when there's a by-election. Today, I would like to talk about just one thing. Why we need more opposition voices in Parliament. If you go to the Parliament of Singapore website, you will find there a definition of the function of Parliament. What does Parliament do? Or what does an MP do? What does your MP do? The function of parliament or the role of an MP is to make laws and to take up a critical role to check on the actions of the governing party and the ministries. So listen to these words carefully, to check on the actions of the governing party and the ministries. Now, those of you who are familiar with what goes on in Parliament will know that the PAP has what we call a party whip. Alright. The present party whip of the PAP is Mr. Chan Chun Seng. The party whip ensures that their MPs vote according to the party line. Very occasionally, they, the party whip may lift the whip and allow their MPs to vote according to their conscience. The party whip means that when it's time to cast a vote in Parliament for or against a bill, Unless this party whip is lifted, PAP MPs must do what their leader tells them to do. In other words, yes, they, yes. Must, yes, they must vote for the bill even if they are against the bill. They have to vote for the bill even if the bill is against their own conscience. Now, our worthy opponent, Mr. Morali, is a nice guy. And I'm certain that he cares for you. But with the party whip in place, do you think he can fulfill this role of checking on the actions of his party and the ministries? Now, how many times has the party whip been lifted in Parliament? The answer is not many. What I do know is that the PAP party whip was not lifted in 1984 
when they propose a CPF minimum sum to lock up our savings. The party whip was also not lifted in 1994 when we introduced the GST. And three years ago in, 19, in 2013, the party whip was also not lifted when they wanted to increase the population to 6.9 million people. So do you think Mr. Murali can vote freely in your best interest? No. Much as he may want to do so, do you think Mr. Murali can vote freely according to your wishes? But even if the party whip is lifted, do you think that the PAP MPs have the courage to vote against their party? In our living memory, only two PAP politicians had ever disagreed with their party. Do you know who are the two? The late Mr. Ong Ting Chong, and more recently, Mr. Inderjit Singh. We all know what happened to Mr. Ong and Mr. Singh after they stood up to the PAP leadership. As it now stands, what we have is a lopsided parliament in which laws are passed without any meaningful debate or challenge. Therefore, what we need in parliament is obvious. We need more opposition voices in parliament Precisely because PAP MPs are not able to perform this critical role that is required of all members of parliament. Friends of Bukit Patok, now is the time for you to make a difference to our parliament. Vote in Dr. Chi Sun Chan. And he will speak up for you. Vote in Dr. Chi Sun Chan and we will speak up against the continuous increase in GST. Vote in Dr. Chi Sun Chuan, and he will speak up against the compulsory CPF minimum sum. Vote in Dr. Chi Sun Chuan, and he will speak up against the increase in our population to 6.9 million. Residents of Bukit Patok, let the SCP be your voice in parliament. Thank you.